Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video, let me talk about the determination of velocity of ultrasonic waves. Ultrasonic waves are nothing but sound waves. Vibrating bodies produce energy in the form of waves that are known as sound waves. Sound waves need some medium to propagate. That medium may be like air, water and steel etc. So we can understand that uh, the sound waves can travel through all solid, liquid and gas medium. Sound waves are longitudinal waves and they can travel with compressions and rarefactions. Compressions known as high pressure regions and rarefaction known as low pressure region. The wavelength of the sound waves is defined as the distance between the two successive uh, compressions or the distance between two successive rarefactions. Based on frequencies, sound waves are classified into three types such as infrasonics, audible waves and ultrasonic waves. The infrasonic waves are inaudible to human air and their frequency is less than 20 Hz. The second type of sound waves are called as audible waves and their frequency range is 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Human ear can hear only these frequencies. So they are called as audible waves. The third type of sound wave is known as the ultrasonic waves and these waves are the high frequency sound waves and their frequency is above 20 kHz. But human ear cannot detect these ultrasonic waves. Next let's see the velocity of the sound waves. The velocity of the sound waves can be defined as the distance traveled by the sound wave in unit time. That is velocity equal to distance by time. So the velocity V can be equal to lambda over t. 1 over t is nothing but frequency n. So n equal to 1 over t. So and replace this 1 over t with n. So V equal to n lambda. So the velocity V equal to frequency times uh, wavelength. So the most important thing the velocity of the sound wave is maximum in solids because they are more elastic in nature than liquids and gases. Now let's move on to determination of velocity of ultrasonic waves through different liquid media and the calculation of adiabatic compressibility of the given liquid. The required uh, apparatus are ultrasonic interferometer, sample liquids and a high frequency generator. The ultrasonic interferometer is a device which is used to determine the velocity of ultrasonic waves with high degree of accuracy. Here the ultrasonic waves are produced by piezoelectric method and a quartz crystal is fixed at the bottom of the cell which produces the ultrasonic waves with known frequency. Next principle used in an ultrasonic interferometer. The experimental setup consists of a cell and an ultrasonic interferometer. The liquid through which the ultrasonic waves to be propagated is taken inside this cell and it has a quartz crystal and a metallic parallel plate which are parallel to each other. The waves produced are reflected by the metallic plate. The produced wave and the reflected wave will form a standing wave. That is when the produced wave and the reflected wave superimpose, acoustic resonance occurs. The resonant waves are maximum in amplitude causing a corresponding maximum in the anode current of the piezoelectric generator. Therefore, D equal to lambda over 2 where D equal to separation between the two successive adjacent to maxima of the anode current. So, to get a standing wave, the distance between the quartz crystal and the metallic plate is adjusted. So, that distance D equal to lambda over 2 or lambda equal to 2 times D. And this lambda value is um, substituted in the velocity of the ultrasonic wave equation. Therefore, velocity V equal to 2D times the frequency. The next thing, the adiabatic uh, compressibility of the material. So, that will be obtained uh, by using the expression beta equal to 1 over rho times V square where rho is the density of the liquid medium and V is the velocity of the ultrasonic wave through that medium. So now let's start our experiment. Here I have given the uh, Amrita virtual lab uh, link for the ultrasonic interferometer. Let's go to the website and continue the experiment. This is the page. Make it full screen. Let me select the medium. So here we have different liquid medium. I'm going to select water as the medium and then frequency. So here I am going to set the frequency as 2 MHz then turn down power, click show cross section and show graph. 
and we have the interferometer and the cell the liquid is taken here so here the liquid is water this is the micrometer the distance between the quartz crystal and the metallic plate is adjusted using the micrometer the corresponding anode current will be shown in the interferometer we have two knobs one is adjust knob and again now so the adjust knob value should be always greater than the gain so let me set here the adjust value as 80 this is our maximum now I am going to adjust the gain so gain value should be lower than the adjust value so gain value is here set as 20 so this is our minimum and 80 is our maximum so the oscillation will be between 20 and 80 so this is called one oscillation let me rotate the micrometer and here I am going to note down the micrometer reading for first maxima so this is our first maxima we have the pitch scale and head scale in pitch scale it is 0 in head scale it is 40 and I am continuing the experiment so first oscillation we complete the first oscillation and if you click and hold it for a few seconds it will be rotating and we can continue the oscillations so second oscillation third oscillation fourth oscillation five six seven eight nine and 10 so now we completed our 10 oscillations and note down the micrometer reading 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 3.5 4 and it is uh, 4 and the head scale coincidence is 15 so let me take this as 4 as my pitch scale reading and 15 as my head scale coincidence we have 10 oscillations here here the micrometer readings are entered in the table so for the first oscillation the pitch scale reading is um, 0 40 and for the 10th oscillation it is 4.15 so the difference of these two will give the distance between two maxima so here uh, the difference is 3.75 times 10 power minus 3 meter and uh, here we have taken 10 oscillations so divide the value with 10 oscillations so that will give you 3.75 times 10 power minus 4 and this is d value but we need uh, 2d since lambda is equal to 2d and 2d value is 7.5 times 10 power minus 4 therefore the velocity v equal to 2d times f the f is frequency that is 2 megahertz so if you multiply 7.5 times 10 power minus 4 with 2 times 10 power 6 you will get 1500 so this is the velocity of the sound wave in water medium then calculate the adiabatic compressibility beta so beta value substitute the uh, rho that is density of the water and the velocity value so here velocity square so that will give you 4.460 times 10 power minus 10 meter square per newton this is the adiabatic compressibility of the material let's continue the experiment by selecting the different liquid so this time i'm going to select the liquid as acetone and the frequency as 3 megahertz turned on power show cross section and show graph 
set the adjust knob to 80 and the gain knob to 20 then rotate the micrometer and note down the uh, micrometer reading for first maxima better you watch the oscillations in interferometer then only you can see all the oscillations so let me note on the micrometer reading this is our first oscillation maxima so first to maxima the pit scale reading is 0 and the head scale coincidence is 21 so 0 21 then let me continue the oscillations so first oscillation 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and note down the micrometer reading 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 oscillations and the micrometer reading is 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 so pitch scale reading is 2 and the head scale coincidence is 3 next the medium selected is acetone and the frequency is 3 megahertz and enter the micrometer reading the total reading is 0 0.21 for the first oscillation and for the 10th oscillation it is 2.03 the difference is 1.82 so divide this with the 10 so that will give you distance between two maxima that is d value then multiply it with the 2 so that is lambda and substitute the lambda value in the velocity expression so here it is 1092 meter per second so velocity of ultrasonic wave in acetone is 1092 as well the adiabatic compressibility is 1.061 times 10 power minus 9 meter square per newton the next liquid i have chosen is kerosene then the frequency is 1 megahertz turn down power then show cross section show graph the same uh, adjust value it is 80 set gain as 20 then note down micrometer reading for first maxima So here the pitch scale reading is 0 then 0.5 so in the head scale coincidence we have 16 so it is 0 66 so pitch scale reading is 0 and head scale coincidence is 66 then let's continue the oscillations please note down the oscillations in interferometer so first oscillation is completed 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, 
eight. Nine. Ten. So now let's note down the reading. It's point five, five five, then six, six point five, seven, and. Uh, the pit scale reading is 7 and the head scale coincidence is 20. So 7, 20. So the third medium is kerosene and the frequency is 1 MHz. For the first oscillation, the total reading is 0 0.66 and for 10th oscillation, it is 7.20. So the difference is 6.54 times 10 power minus 3 divided with 10. So that will give you 6.54 times 10 power minus 4. Then multiply this with 2, so that will give you lambda, then substitute in velocity expression. So now we got the velocity of ultrasonic wave in kerosene is 1308 meter per second, as well the adiabatic compressibility is 7.216 times 10 power minus 10 meter square per newton. So the last medium I have selected is castor oil and set the frequency to 4 MHz turn on power then click show cross section and show graph set the adjust value to 80 and gain value to for 20 gain value is 20 then find the micrometer reading for first to maximum So this is our first maximum. And the pitch scale reading is 0. Then head scale coincidence is 16. So 0, 16. And then note down the oscillations. So first oscillation 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and note on the reading. So now we have 0, 0.5, 1, 1 1.5 and the coincidence is uh, 45. So 1.5, 45. So that will be 1.95. The last liquid we have selected is castor oil and the frequency is 4 MHz. Then micrometer reading for first oscillation is 0 0.66. Then for 10th oscillation it is 1.95. The difference is 1.79 times 10 power minus 4. So this is D value. Multiply it with 2. So that will give you lambda and substitute in the velocity expression. So here we have 1432. So that is our velocity. So velocity V equal to 1432 meter per second. So, velocity of ultrasonic wave in castor oil is 1432 meter per second. Then, adiabatic compressibility is 5.100 times 10 power minus 10 meter square per newton. I hope this video is more helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.